Hello everyone, we are the cost controllers of the well-known ready-to-wear retailer Beaumanoir. Today we are going to present you the dashboard we elaborated for the purchasing department of the Beaumanoir Group. So, the Beaumanoir Group is a French company founded in 1985, specialized in the distribution of ready-to-wear, logistics and e-business, and managing well-known brands such as Bonobo and Cash Cash. So the groups operate mainly in France, where 70% of our 2,700 stores are. Over the last few years, Omanoir has been facing ser serious financial difficulties. The low-cost ready-to-wear distribution is such a competitive market in which commercial margins are tight and the purchasing department has to be optimized in order for the company to be successful. So, the purchasing department takes action in three main activities, which are supply chain management, packaging and storage. The demand is an internal, internal demand and the purchasing department can either deal with subcontractors or fashion designers to be provided with clothes. Actually, subcontractors are in charge to manufacture the products that are previously designed by Boumanoir itself. So, we choose to focus on subcontractors as it is the most common approach and the best way to find information. So, as you may know, most of the clothes sold sold by Beaumanoir come from large commands to subcontractors, whereas the second model would rather be used by companies offering much expensive and qualitative products. Moreover, we consider that it was necessary to enlarge the part we would work on to be able to find enough inf information and relevant indicators to oversee the activity. Then, we wonder what, we, what are the main levels to continuously improve our purchasing division. We found three key levels that are financial contribution, supply chain optimization, and suppliers' reliability. Because a great purchasing division is one that is able to optimize its costs, and to that end, we have to be efficient in the management of economies of scale, negotiation, and transport. A great management of stocks depends on the ability to anticipate the demand and to ensure a great rotation of it. That's why the optimization of the supply chain is really important too. Finally, the reliability of suppliers is something important when it comes to improve the quality of the service provided by the purchasing department. Indeed, the reliability of those suppliers may impact significantly the quality of the products and uh, the time period to be de delivered. To build a great network of suppliers, uh, could put, put, <coughs> sorry, to build a great network of suppliers could potentially lead to greater quality of the services provided by the purchasing division to the retail one. Now, my colleagues will present our four recently built indicators. So now we are going to present to you the first indicators that we have created in order to help the company and to achieve its performance goals. Indeed, Beaumanoir desires to improve its profitability and, uh, by optimizing the supply costs. So analyzing the supply department would allow the Beaumanoir's group to find the best solution and to make uh, some decisions, the best decision to meet the needs of the company. So in the Beaumanoir case, uh, we have decided to create a personal indicator uh, which called evolution of the order cost. Uh, this indicator uh, allows the company to understand the origin of the supply cost because the question is uh, what are the costs that influence, influence the total order cost. So to answer this question, we created this indicator. There are different variables. Firstly, you have uh, so the different axes. The first axis is the horizontal axis. Um, in this axis, uh, you can find the annual period um, of each cost, uh, the annual period with uh, annual, annual period, sorry. And in the vertical um, axis, you can find the amount uh, of each cost. So the amount is representing uh, in a percentage in relation with the total order cost. Concerning the vertical uh, axis, uh, we have decided to focus on the most important cost of an order. So you have purchase goods, you have transport costs, and you have uh, storage costs. So these three costs have a very important influence 
on the total cost because uh, if a cost increases, uh, the total order cost increased, uh, will increase. So with this uh, indicator, as I said, you can find the origin of the order cost variation. Um, so with this indicator, uh, the company could make some decision to reduce any cost. Indeed, uh, it will be necessary to understand what is the reason of this variation. If we type an example, well, thanks to uh, this graph, uh, between January and uh, February, for example, uh, we can see uh, that the transport cost uh, and storage cost increased and representing a, large, a larger sh uh, share of the total order cost. So then, uh, this indicator is really complementary uh, with the second indicator that uh, um, uh, that uh, Sandy will explain uh, after that. Uh, so with uh, this second indicator called evolution of Stanford Scott. So uh, indeed, if you want to have more details concerning uh, the transport cost, uh, for example, uh, you can use uh, this uh, second indicator. The average duration of storage is a great indicator to provide insight on whether or not the company is managing its stocks properly. This indicator is based on a year basis and is calculated with the inventory turnover ratio uh, using the cost of goods and the average inventory for the same period. The result is the number of days that the stocks are kept within the company. If the period of storage is high, then it may explain that the offer is higher than the demand. So, the more the rotation is quick, the more the company is performing. However, a very low period of storage might be the sign of a company that is not buying enough inventory, meaning that it could be missing sales opportunities. We have established our indicator with three items. Obviously we decided to put on it the period of storage of the company, and then we added to it uh, the market's average period of storage, which gives a great indication on whether or not the, the company is performing regarding its competitors. And, uh, and finally, we add to it an objective of uh, 153 days of storage. So, otherwise, Beaumanoir has a key objective to reduce its uh, supplier pool. Reducing the uh, numbers of suppliers enables at first to benefit from economies of scale. It enables also, as well as ensuring a great service from those supplier, suppliers in terms of both quality and delivery time. We wanted to focus on the quality rather than the uh, delivery time. So we have uh, conceived a graph relevant to the number of uh, suppliers and uh, default rate. It contains three variables. Concerning the uh, vertical axis, there are two variables. So the first is the uh, number of uh, suppliers and uh, the second is the uh, default rate of their purchased products. On the horizontal axis, we used the time uh, dimension. So uh, the, the choice to use a uh, temporal analysis is uh, because the evolution of technologies and uh, competencies, competencies over the uh, decades may impact the uh, quality of uh, suppliers, which we have to consider. At first, the blue curve represents the number of uh, suppliers with which the uh, company collaborated each year. It also represents its uh, forecast for the year 2019 to uh, 2020. 21. Then the, the indicator shows default, default rates. They are presented by uh, red dots uh, on the graph. So uh, these uh, different uh, points follow a logarithm uh, curve tendencies, tendency. Thus, we uh, were ab able to estimate uh, the projected default rates represented by uh, black so this indicator will allow the company to estimate the uh, threshold of the number of uh, suppliers in uh, order to minimize the default rate. For example, even if the, even if the company continues to reduce its uh, number of <coughs> suppliers, it won't, it won't have a, position impact, a positive impact on the uh, default rate. Uh, 100 and... Um, and I, 95 uh, suppliers seems to to be the optimal optimal solution. However, this uh, estimate 
this uh, estimate is uh, li limited, limit, is limited, limited to uh, to keep a minimum purchase volume. The company, the company must collaborate with a minimum number of uh, suppliers. So uh, we advise them to uh, calculate this uh, threshold and introduce it into this indicator. Thanks to these indicators, we can see that the size of the supplier pool is linked with the uh, decrease in the quality of the product deli delivered. However, the, uh, the improvement in the quality of uh, those uh, delivery shows theme of uh, stagnation at some point, despite the great downsize of the supplier pool. Delays are synonym of cost and affect negatively the service provided by the purchasing department. It's important for a company to, have, um, to, to keep an eye on its delays uh, because it allows to control that there is no problem with suppliers and to prevent catastrophic situations from happening because those could uh, impact sales. We have created this indicator with aim to bring to the company a view on the delays per month and to check whether or not the amount of delays is too high. The data we use for this indicator are the, the number of comments and the number, the number of delays. The goal we expect to reach has been added to the graph, as well as the percentage that is allowed. The goal is what we want to reach uh, idealistically, whereas the percentage allowed is the line we don't want to cross. Of course, if we found out that, that there were too many delays, uh, we could take remedial actions regarding the suppliers that are the least reliable. So, thanks to these indicators, we will be, be able to control the performance of the company quickly and efficiently. By reacting fastly, we can save a lot of money for Bowman War. Moreover, these indicators represent a really helpful tool in order to manage the company and to make the right strategic decisions. Thank you for your time.